Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, <laughs> this obviously isn't Star Wars in front of you. So I've been on a little bit of a uh, Avatar The Last Airbender kick. I'm watching through the series for the first time and I've just, you know, very rapidly become asphyxiated and, uh, not asphyxiated, but <laughs> fixated is the word I was looking for. Yeah, definitely not choking on it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I've definitely been, you know, hooked into that world. It's, it's really cool. Um, so I recently just ordered up the uh, McFarlane figures that they've put out and uh, I was halfway, I sort of started doing an unboxing. I thought I might as well just shoot a little video. Just, you know, this is a, just another little one of my interests at the moment. And uh, so, so far I've opened up um, Appa here, who is, you know, fantastic. If you know the show, you'll know the characters. Um, <laughs> this thing is such a heavy piece of plastic too. Um, articulations, you know, minimal, like it's only head, a uh, bit of the tail, and uh, his mouth, which is great. You know, it looks fantastic, but for the most part, this is just going to be like part of the shelf. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really thrilled with this thing. It is super heavy, um, really, really heavy. Like, that's all solid. You can always get a feeling from that thudding. So, um, yeah, I started opening uh, Katara. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, these are all sort of based on season one, um, or book one as it's called. So, um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with the show and uh, really love the animation style. Uh, really digging the figures too. And uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to get, get some plastic interpretations of them. I just think they're really good. So uh, yeah, she comes with the uh, the water effect being the uh, water bender or a water bender. So yeah, I have to work out how the accessories are meant to work afterwards. Um, but that's okay. So she has a pretty cool water effect. I'm not sure how. It doesn't really want to hold it. So yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to monkey around with that afterwards, and uh, sort of see how that works out. Eh, I guess, but <laughs> we'll see. So I'll just put that aside. But yeah, super cool. So she looks really good. Really nice sculpting on it, actually. It's the thing I'll, McFarlane do a great job of their um, sculpting and the paintwork. Um, oh, and for those interested, these are about five inch scale. So yeah, they're a little bit smaller. They also do a seven inch scale one, which are more in line with the, uh, you know, DC Multiverse figures that we're all pretty much well aware of at the moment. Um, but yeah, these are a bit smaller, so. But yeah, the detail looks good. The sculpting on them looks good. Like, you almost sort of see that as a fabric, which looks great. Yeah, jumping right out of the show to be honest with you. I just feel like they're just really nicely done. So next we'll look at our soccer. There he looks pretty cool. Move the camera up, that might help a bit. So yeah, we'll just uh, pop him off the card. Stick up there. What we have here is the boomerang thing. I don't know what it's called. I suppose it's a bit boring. But yeah, I am very, very much still new to the new to this world um, and the series, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So I hope you get some cool toy photos of these figures. So, so yeah, he looks great too. little boomerang holder in the back there that's nice no, I assume he'll be able to hold that quite easily articulation seems to be a little limited on these but that's okay um, so no wrists no ankles um, shoulders elbows torsos um, hips and knees 
and head obviously, but that's okay. But yeah, Sucker is looking great, awesome head sculpt, I love that, it looks really cool. Those two together, they look fantastic. Now, who should we have next? So we should go Zuko or Ang. I think we'll just go with Zuko. And we'll leave Ang till very last. So at this stage, where I'm up to, Zuko is basically the uh, the villain, the villain of his own story as well. <laughs> He's been cast out of his own his own people but yeah this this figure's looking cool really cool so he's got a couple of flame effects which you will hold be cool it's cool looks cool I dig it it's slightly different too And cool to have sort of some sort of effects and you know switch out hands but you know maybe that's what the uh, seven inch ones are doing I haven't had a good look at them to be honest I just sort of watched a few reviews of these and I thought you know they're actually really nice looking figures um, particularly just for display so that's why I chose these ones as opposed to like a larger scale um, bunch of figures so this one's I'm digging it he looks great. That sort of top knot. Love the outfit. Love the sort of molded detail on, on the red parts there. It's like red, deep red leather. And all these clothes look like they're made of like a leather a tough tough fabric looks awesome sort of gold belt and gold trim on his braces fantastic loving it really digging these figures so far so this is actually my second ang because I got the uh, best action um, one a couple of months back and that's a cool figure um, but it certainly feels you know it feels a little bit flimsy um, the good thing with it is he, he comes with you know swap out hands um, three different heads and um, yeah so there is another version of Ang that McFarlane have done where he comes with his glider which, you know, is essentially this anyway. But, um, yeah, I think some more variations of heads would have been cool for this one. But it works. Let me just grab the other one. So, yeah, they're slightly different in size, I guess. Head size is actually pretty similar, so I can actually see myself maybe using these heads on this one if they're easily removable enough. I'm going to have to check that out, because if I can play with these heads on the McFarlane, that'll work out really well. Of course, this one comes with the uh, this little guy, Momo. I think it's Momo. <laughs> completely blanking now he um, came came with the best action one so he's going to take his place with the new crew so yeah we've got these two heads as well so they're probably they're pretty similar maybe a little bit different proportions maybe the uh, colors on this one are a bit bolder but still I don't know I think I'm going to I think I'm going to monkey around with it a little bit and if I can remove 
remove this head, you know, can put a more sort of stoic looking Aang or the uh, any sort of avatar spirit mode, which looks awesome. So yeah, I'd I'd <laughs> I'd very rarely sort of stray away from uh, Star Wars on my channel. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really digging this series at the moment and, you know, the world that they're building or that they've built for um, Avatar, Last Airbender and uh, looking forward to checking out um, The Legend of Korra afterwards once I'm done because, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. So, yeah, if there's any other Avatar fans out there, let me know. I'd be definitely be interested to find out and his hand has just popped out of there because there's no articulation and naturally I'm trying to move it so um, that'll just take a little bit little drop of super glue in there and that'll be that'll be fine not a big deal at all so yeah let me know what you think do you want to see some different stuff from my channel I'd be definitely be interested to see if there's anyone keen to see some more stuff I know I've sort of played with the idea of reviewing some of my um, McFarlane Batman stuff, so if anyone's keen, please let me know. And if, I'd love to do individual reviews of these two if anyone's keen. Um, you know, just to add a little bit of extra flavour to my channel. Please let me know. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. Always going to be Star Wars here, guys. Always. Um, but yeah, till my next video. Don't know what you <laughs> don't know what my sign off is this time. But thanks for watching, folks. See you later.